principles, you're going to have so much money. It's like you're going to be able to sleep peacefully at night. I, I don't know how else to describe it to you. And if you're not moving, you're upgrading your place. New furniture, fridge, laundry. I'm hearing washer and dryer. Flooring, roofing. A whole new bathroom setup. There could even be a pool being installed, okay? That, that that's Or this could even be an inheritance. Somebody, you know, leaving a home for you and all the paperwork is has been filed. It's clear to go, like ready to go. Like here's the keys, okay? Move yourself in. Four of Pentacles. Multiple sources of income. Some of you are going to be making money while you sleep. This feels like a passive income or some sort of drop shipping. What do we have at the bottom? The Ace of Cups. Okay, the, the month of May, there's going to be a lot of partying, okay, going out, celebration, drinking, okay. There might be a lot of wine drinking this month, okay. The high Hello, Taurus, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. Cersei Zide here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys. Okay, this is your general read for May 2023. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings. Ancient Ancestors, Elders, Goddess and Sree for my Taurus. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for Divine Guidance and Celestial Light. I heard the name Monroe. I also heard something about Court. Okay, we have Pluto. This is the Death card and the Judgment card. This is Scorpio energy. Okay, this is Pluto in transit. Then we have number five on the side, okay? You could be a life path number five. You could be a Taurus that celebrates their birthday, right? May 5th or May 15th. Mm. And this is the Hierophant on the side, Taurus, uh, excuse me. And Venus getting ready to station direct. Then over here, we have Pisces on the side. Ne uh, Neptune getting ready to station direct. This is the High Priestess. And the hangman, both on their side, Pisces energy. What do we have at the bottom? The Ace of Cups. Okay, the, the month of May, there's going to be a lot of partying, okay, going out, celebration, drinking, okay. There might be a lot of wine drinking this month, okay. The High Priestess, yeah, there could be a lot of staying out late at night, okay. Going out to the clubs, okay, partying, living your best life. This could also be symbolizing, you know, just going out to eat, having a nice dinner. Um, for some of you, just going to the mall, going to the movies, okay. There's a lot of water here, so you could be going to the beach or, or like to a boardwalk or to a seaside town, right? To enjoy a night out, take a night stroll, you know, people watch, See what's going on in the town okay but i see you going out and living that that life okay enjoying your life yeah the star the star is there you know there could be a brand new beginning and love here as well but i want to see what the rest of the cards have to say we have the star what's this the five of cups there might be some hangovers here okay some of you might be going out too hard oh the lovers is this going back to that last read the ace of cups is going to be at the bottom unimaginable riches are headed your way and somebody's going to be mad somebody that was going to be with you this lifetime and they didn't step up look you're going to get the Queen of Pentacles and Temperance. I was saying unimaginable riches in that uh, that previous read. And you're going to get the Queen of Pentacles and the Temperance. So what does that tell me? That Spirit is blessing you and the Three of Pentacles at the bottom. 
a lot of people are going to want to work with you, collaborate with you. You're on your way to being uh, recognized here, whether it's within your company or you're about to get a new career. Okay, this month of May, May season, is something about this May specifically, Taurus, where this is like the game changer. Okay, for you guys, that's what I'm getting here. Who's a game changer? Eight of Wands. Spirit says yes. You might also hike a volcano this month or something, a dormant volcano, obviously. Um, like, you may go hiking somewhere. Just bring plenty of water and don't go off the trail, please. Okay, stay on the trail. Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups, Spirit? Four of Pentacles. Multiple sources of income. Some of you are going to be making money while you sleep. This feels like a passive income or some sort of drop shipping or ad revenue, royalties. Also, the Seven of Cups could be implying you appearing in front of an audience here. You guys could end up being on TV show, some sort of Netflix TV series. You could also be a voice actor or voice actress for a series, an anime here. Your first big gig is all is also almost coming up. Like you're right there. Could even be within the first seven days of May. Seven of Cups, Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles. You're gonna have so much money. It's like you're gonna be able to sleep peacefully at night. I I don't know how else to describe it to you. I feel like this could be on May twenty seventh, where you're gonna really feel okay. The the money raining from the sky. Yeah, I'm going to get Instagram notification, right? When I said that, it's like you're going to really feel the money falling from the sky. A lot of you uh, around May 27th. It's like you're sitting on a lot of money here. What's going on? What is this weird energy? I'm scared. I'm scared, y'all. Ace of Swords, Spirit say this is the truth. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, overnight sex set, look, look. I don't know what else to say. Some of you, this is inheritance that you're finally getting back, rightfully owed. Eight of Cups and the Empress, you turn your back on several people here. But specifically a love situation, you turn your back. It's blocked, access denied, and that's why you're going to receive these blessings. The Queen of Cups, okay? The Queen of Cups can be a very sensitive person, okay? They can they can exude a lot of emotions. What are you trying to tell us with the... Oh, wow. Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. You have got to be kidding me. Somebody wants to apologize to you, Taurus. Because we're going to have a pair. This could be a Scorpio. This could be a Scorpio that wants to apologize. Or a Leo. A Leo man or a Leo woman or a Sagittarius. Or a Cancer. But they want to apologize. Toro, somebody done fell in love with y'all. Okay, they want to say they're sorry for how they disrespected you. In the past, okay, there is something here like they dragged you, like this person dragged you through the mud. I don't think some of you realize this yet, though, but they literally drug you through the mud and drug your name, backstabbed and betrayed you. Like this person was terrible. They were, this person was a whole demon out here. That That's what they were. And the Four of Cups. <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. It's like, they know they messed up. And now they're waiting on you to reach back out to them. Why Why would you do that? Why would you reach back out to someone that was out here being a demon? Like, I, I, I just don't. Why is this energy even here? Why, why is this appearing to Tauros, the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords? This is a spiritual connection that y'all share. Eight of Cups and the Empress. Okay. 
this read was so good. It was like it started off amazing, right? And now we're having to deal with this, this love BS. But you know what? <clears throat> <clears throat> you see my throat chakra. Even my throat doesn't want to talk about it. But you know what? It's a general read for the month, so we have to talk about everything that can potentially show up in the timeline this month. So we have to talk about it. This individual. Like, what I see here is they had multiple chances to get with you, and they just didn't do it. For whatever reason. Oh, that's why. You see, a lot of you are going to move. And if you're not moving, you're upgrading your place. New furniture, fridge, laundry. I'm hearing washer and dryer. Flooring, roofing. A whole new bathroom setup. There could even be a pool being installed, okay? That that that's or this could even be an inheritance. Somebody, you know, leaving a home for you and all the paperwork is has been filed, it's clear to go, like ready to go, like here's the keys, okay? Move yourself in. So somebody's watching you get the bag. That that's basically what it is. Somebody that had ample opportunity and chances to be with you in the past, they see you getting the bag now. <clears throat> they see you getting that Ten of Pentacles, the opportunity, the recognition, the praise. Like it, it just it just amazes me. Like you guys keep glowing, glowing, glowing. Like when when y'all gonna stop glowing? That's the thing. That's what I don't understand. Like it doesn't stop for you guys. That's amazing. I wish I was a Taurus this time around. I'm finished. Look at this. I'm telling you, it's a past energy. Yeah, brick wall and soul mace. This would have been a dream come true, this love offer. I'm telling you, this individual left you waiting. Now they want now they want retribution. You know, now 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 they want a chance. So what is they're gonna say that they love you? Look, Phoenix, being offered a second chance. It literally says it right there. But then look at this. Finances and Snake. This individual sees the money. Taurus. This individual, you see, wants a snake, always a snake. Once somebody has turned karmic, they're always going to remain that way, you know? I, I, I got to tell people. Yeah, they love you. Yeah, there might be some nice states, but look, 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 look at this. What, what, what are we going to do about this? Somebody can love you, you know, to, to heaven and hell and back. But if they don't respect you, then, then what? What, what are we going to do about that? If he or she, you know, he, she, they, them, if they don't respect you, what, what, what are we going to do? You know, you're, you're going to cut that BS out of your life. And you're going to celebrate and move forward with the new. Because I'm telling you, you're going to have suitors. You know, you you don't have to be dealing with this craziness. You know, it feels like this 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 is a soulmate or a twin flame that has gone rogue and turned karmic. Like, they're, they're just... It's like they're mad that you're on top of the wheel. And they aren't. Like, they have to come... Like it's a huge blow to their ego. This, if if y'all don't, if y'all don't send, this is a clown. And if y'all don't send this clown back to the circus, exactly where they belong, some of you may lose it all. You deal with this person, Taurus. I'm telling you right now. Look at that chaos there. Rejection really is God's protection for some of you, right? If you deal with this person, Taurus, I feel like you will lose it all. Honestly. And it's something here, like, they slept with your enemy as well, some of you. Like, for some of you, they slept with the enemy and harvested that, that energy from your enemy, from the karmic enemy of yours. So it's like, you would be absorbing that energy as well. You, you would, and that energy would cause a tower in your life. It would cause an ending in your life of some way, shape, or form. So I feel like this is a blessing, the money that you're getting, but this person coming back in... 
it, it just feels like there's some sort of scrub. Like they want to piggyback off of your financial success. You're going to be celebrating. You're, you're going to look like a whole snack. You are going to have all these love offers from mentally stable and financially secure people, you know, do not look back at all. Don't don't look back, you know, do your thinking, right? Do your pondering. But you see, you're a star in the making. Whether that's actual reality, you know, like you being on TV, or this is you like moving so high up in the company, it's like, you know, the people that you started work with, it's like they're, they they have to, you know, report to you, right? Like you have climbed mountains and bridges only for this individual to come in, recon reconcile with you. But you see the unseen, they have hidden motives, intentions. They're angry. They're mad. They mad. And what all they're going to do is try to stop you from meeting the right person for you. So this is a twin flame soulmate that you were originally supposed to be with, but they have gone karmic. They have gone rogue and they don't want to change. Okay. They're coming in to cause chaos and drama in your life because they see you winning and they're mad that you're winning and they're not. And now they want to take out their anger and frustration towards you. And I'm telling you, if you decide to do this with this individual Taurus, you are going to find yourself in chaos, in the tower. You might even be robbed, okay? You might find missing money or your credit card may go missing. Stay far away from this individual, okay? This individual doesn't want to change. Rejection is God's protection. And keep moving forward in your life, okay? You have so much beautiful energy coming to you. Like, you know, twin flame or soulmate or not, I feel this individual is just out of control, yeah, coldness. I'm going to part the deck. Like, there, it's going to be unrequited. I feel like Spirit is really trying to warn y'all. Look what's at the bottom. That That's their primary motive to, to come back towards you. And you're still going to feel like this. You're still going to feel like it's not going nowhere with that person. They're going to be more focused on hanging out with their friends. More focus on the online world, what so-and-so is doing, what so-and-so is wearing. This individual, they're just not ready. But you see, you're ready for the next step. You're ready to hang out with a different type of people. You're going to attract all sorts of good people, good opportunities into your life. So go ahead, love. Let that ish go from the past. If you haven't, okay, let that ish go. Let it go for real, for real, okay? Don't even look back at that craziness. Trust me. I mean, you have free will, right? But, you know, don't say I didn't warn you if you indulge with this person and then all of a sudden they blow up on you, curse you out, scream at you, okay? Try to tear you down or you find them cheating on you. Don't say I ain't warned y'all now. But that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care. <laughs>